The conference was about bringing together successful entrepreneurs to talk about things that they thought they'd done right and especially things that they've done wrong when it came to making ethical decisions in their enterprises. What we really wanted to do was work out what we should be teaching up and coming entrepreneurial students so that they don't make the same mistakes other people have made. We had a range of participants. The common factor here was all of them had developed their own businesses. They were very strong entrepreneurs. Some of them were just starting out, some of them had been in the business for a long time. All of them had a story to tell as well about things that had gone wrong with their enterprises and things that had gone right and how they could use those stories and those experiences. We asked them to talk about uh, things that had gone wrong. So examples of where they'd made a, an ethics-based decision that they really regretted but they learned something from it. And then we asked them about things gone right. So where they'd made again an ethics or a values-based decision that they were really pleased about because it put them in a much better position with their enterprise. And then the final question was asking about their own personal values and how they influenced the decisions they made within their enterprise. One of the areas I think it's very easy to stumble on as an organization is being formed at the very beginning is making promises you can't keep. There's a temptation sometimes to um, hire people despite um, the misalignment of the core ethical values and actually um, because of their skill and your need uh, there's a strong temptation to just overlook those misalignments and in doing that in, in a couple examples I've done that um, it led to uh, you know uh, significant problems. We were asked to hire at the sort of request of the investor which the people I wasn't uh, comfortable with but I still did because uh, I knew that it was a golden rule, <laughs> gold. and I regretted that later on I have to fire almost all of them. And that really impacted the business negatively because for a period they were not really working for the company, they were working for themselves. In starting out I was more interested in the product and uh, in the latter part of our investing I concentrated on the people. And uh, so any mistakes I usually make uh, have been in misjudging the people. When we uh, would work with uh, a large corporation that took a lot of time making decisions, was very bureaucratic, that um, may have at an individual level tried to do well, but at a large uh, corporate level had a very difficult time uh, figuring out which direction they were going to go, I would express frustration. And, um, and it just showed my, my lack of experience in working with larger uh, organizations. Fundamentally, it means taking a long-term view, not the short-term view. What, what's the long-term implication? Being honest, being ethical, um, doing what's right, even though it might cost in some short-term way. When we made a commitment to develop some products, um, even though it wasn't necessarily profitable for us to go through with that, we, we honored our commitment and ultimately you know, became a very a significant supplier to GE and that really kicked our, our company off. And I think that uh, it was more just a personal view of myself and our partners that we wanted to you know, meet our obligations that actually paid back very handsomely in the end. We decided to stay away from the high volume um, market areas even though the sales potentials there were much much greater than in the commercial and industrial area. We decided to go into the commercial and industrial areas uh, because it focused uh, what I felt was going to be a niche in the market which would be our engineering strength uh, with, with, the, uh, with the years to come in the product line. But I think in the long run, an effort to try to be very honest about our science and push that forward uh, foremost uh, turned out to, to serve us well because the customers who recognized that turned out to be extremely loyal customers for the long run. So I don't want to overstate it, but um, it's hard to overstate. I think it's the most important thing you can do. It's, it's absolutely the most important thing you can do. I, I think the truthful answer to that depends on why it is you're starting the company. 
You know, many people out in Silicon Valley think they're going to start a company with their friends, sell it to Google for, you know, two or three million bucks in another year and do another one. In which case, I would argue the company started with no values and no real purpose but that. So is staying true to your values important in that scenario? Realistically, I don't think so. By contrast, if you are like me and my colleagues at Catafora, you know, we had many opportunities to sell the company and, you know, for a fair amount of money. We didn't do it. Why? Because we didn't want to do it. We're trying to build a company that's going to be there for the next decade. And that's just a different set of motivations. And if you are in it for the long haul, then you absolutely need to stay true to your values because otherwise, why are you doing it? You will find that entrepreneurship, probably more than just about any endeavor in life, is in fact a journey to self. And I believe part of that journey, a significant part of that journey, is in fact discovering or perhaps rediscovering your deepest held personal beliefs, values, ethics, morals, and everything. In the end, the, the, there's really only one thing that you have, and that's your personal integrity and your personal ethics. And, uh, and that's what you carry through with you. You'll have successes, you'll have failures, but in the end, uh, it's, it's, your, it's your, your, your personal credibility, integrity, and your personal ethics that really matter. In fact, and, and that's how people will judge you. That's how your reputation will be, uh, be made, and that's how people will judge you. And, um, and, and that's what will uh, really determine your value in the marketplace as well. So this fall, we're launching the University of Michigan at Masters of Entrepreneurship, a course, an extremely exciting 12-month course, which is going to take students uh, from wanting to become entrepreneurs to having a really strong practical tool set for doing that. And we're capping the course off with this new entrepreneurial ethics course, which will give them a unique perspective on how their values and their ethics and the values and ethics of their organizations are going to stand them in the best possible stead for being successful.